When you first unpackage your Denali harness, it's going to look something like this. Once you've unraveled everything and get it all spread out so you can get a good overview of what the situation is, you're going to want to notice a couple of things. First, coming off the control box here, you've got two leads. These two leads go all the way out and connect to your pods out here for your LEDs. Coming off the back side of the harness, we've got our fuse lead for the positive side of our battery terminal, terminal and the negative lead for the battery terminal. In addition to that, we also have our trigger wires for our high beam and our ignition switch wire for the harness. On this side, we additionally have the, light, the lighted LED switch for the harness. When you're assembling the harness and putting it on the bike, it's very important that when you disconnect these, that you don't accidentally reverse any of the wiring. So if you were to accidentally plug a light harness into the switch side, it, could cause, it will cause a problem. You want to make sure that you reconnect all of your connectors back to their appropriate uh, locations as designated in your wiring diagram.